Dun 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 Yes, hi everybody, this is Mike from LA1 here, welcome back. And it's now time to continue on with my... It's time to continue my kicked in the nuts, my player series. This is episode 3, in the last episode, the kicked in the, kicked in the nuts guy got drafted to the Washington Wizards. There you see him. But in, in, in the, or he said he wanted to change his number, which is exactly what we are going to do. Uh, here, let's take a look here. And all these choices here. As you can see, these are a lot of choices here. But then he decided, you know what, let's keep the number one. Let's keep number one. Let's keep. He's gonna say he's gonna keep number one for now. But now let's continue on with the. Uh, let's continue on. Let's add the skill points onto him. There'll be a three pointer there uh, and a three pointer right there. I guess. There, I guess. So, so he'll be a back to basket sort of. He is a center. But let's take a look at the my trades before he starts his debut against the New Jersey Nets. Look, and the only team that seems to be interested in him is the New Orleans Hornets. So now, let's go. Let's go watch Kicks in the Nuts play his first game in the NBA. Then it'll be his first rival game, and then we can get ready for the Barney Gumble. My player series in MLB 2K12. As you can see, JaVale, JaVale McGee is playing for the Wizards. It's the centerman for the Wizards, so... The guy, this the kicking in the nuts guy will be kicking people's nuts in New, in the big in the in the nation's capital for a while. Now let's start it up here. As Daryl, there you see John Wall and the Wizards. There you see kicking the nuts guy in the far left there. By the numbers, he's playing in there. And now we're at the Verizon Center. And there we go, we're now getting ready to start the game here. And there you see the kicked in the nuts. All that's what it says, kicked in the nuts. That's what I named him. And the man in the middle, JaVale McGee. They utilize his abilities to maintain that presence under the rim. I know he doesn't look anything like the guy, but I did the best I could. And now is his, his first game in the NBA. As he's now in the NBA, as they're down eight to four, as he'll be guarding number 43, which I believe is Chris Humphreys. Yep, it's Chris Humphreys, the Kim, the, the guy, the Kim Kardashian loving dick who's been married for 72 days, which. My subscriber amount is longer than her marriage. Ayo! Facing a player who is athletically gifted like John Wall. He told me that staying in front of him with a solo defense. Hopefully, it's not better than that. Oh, he got good shot defense. It was his teammate grade went up for kicking the nuts. Thanks a lot, Doris. You have a lot of that record still, though. Surprisingly improving from 8 and 4. What? The year before against the East. incremental progress. Yeah, that's exactly right. Steve is a little light. There you see, kicked in the nuts, and look at this. He shoots and he misses, but he gets a good shot selection on his teammate, Raid. As he has to guard Humphreys again, and he gets a leave assignment. Fuck crap again. With this a load of. which he's pissed off about. Because of Coach Philippe, Flip Sanders. Or Philippe. Whatever the hell you announce his name. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Fallon looks at this. John Wall is going out as Joan Crawford is taking his place. He's got the strength to get five defenders and then the savvy to get them up in the air and draw foul. Jordan Crawford's checked in for the Wizards. Free throw, no good for Williams. 
it back to Williams in contact and takes its toll on defenders too, knowing that you know if they're going to gamble and try to reach in on this guy, they're going to get tackled with the foul. Yeah, I like his skin, his dexterity, his agility, his strength. He's a terrific. He shoots and he misses, but he gets to leave assignment back. He puts a lot of pressure on defenders and a lot of times ends up drawing fouls because of that. Another shot. And he guessed the uh, and his teammate Raid went down. Yay. That offense just keeps on clicking. It sure does, Clark. They're getting high percentage looks and really taking advantage here. Really not surprising. You'd almost come to expect this from a team that is so young and learning the ropes of the NBA, trying to grow into being a good team. But the Wizards had a lot of fouls last year, did a lot of hacking. Second more As kicked in the nuts gets his first point in the NBA. Yeah, and a long career of kicking guys in the nuts. And I, once again, I, if you guys did not remember, every time he he commits a personal foul, I have to say the line. But so far, that hasn't happened yet. And here's Crawford. And he commits a turnover, which is 11, but normally it's 10. Forcing that mistake. And he allowed the turnover and nope. The kick in the nuts. As John Wall's coming back out again as Joan Crawford comes back out. And a change for the Wizards. Crawford's checked in. Excuse me. Crossed at the New Jersey Nets are crushing the Wizards. Wait, did they have LeBron James? Oh no, that's not. Well, wait a minute. While we're here, let's scan the stadium. Because the Verizon Center, it's pretty big. See, there's some banners. This is also the home of the Washington Capitals hockey team. There you see more banners of the NBA logo. There's more NBA logos back there. But there are the, the three championship banners. Yeah, the Wizards are are, are a young team. In fact, they have the number two pick in the draft this year. A successful box out. What the heck is that? Okay, I filled the lane correctly, so that's good. Picked up so many fouls. I mean, they, they, were, all, they were an aggressive team on defense, but also. In fact, let's take a look at their jumbotron as well. There's the two, there's the bullets, and uh, let's take a look at the scoreboard. Where the heck is that thing? Okay, where is that stupid scoreboard? Oh, there, oh, there it is. This is probably one of my favorite Jumbotrons in the NBA. Look at that. Look at the, look at that! It has the capital on it, so that proves how this. Mistakes. That's a nice scoreboard there. Now the pass to Humphreys. Yeah, I'm gonna block you, Chris Ka Kim low. Kardashian, loving. There we go. Thanks for helping my teammate Ray right there, Humphreys. Look at the Nets. Well, they took the season series from this club a year ago, but then again, almost everybody did. The by Lopez. As he's blocked and by Lopez, but someone got the rebound, and now we're now up by ten. As the Jersey, the Nets. No, hang on. There's the mascot. We gotta know what his name is. Excuse me, ref. There's the let's see. Uh, let me move the camera. There's the mascot right over there. I don't know what his name is. I keep forgetting what this guy's name is. It's it it doesn't say. I have to look that up before the ne ne next episode. The Wizard Girls. At least we know what the. 
Pump faked into a foul, and unfortunately, that wasn't a good foul. So, oh, that was a personal foul, my friend. My friend, you've been kicked in the you've been kicked in the nuts. I like that sound effect every time he misses. Yeah, he goes pew. Kind of like what happened at Electronic on his final day when he got derezzed. Up, oh, Humphreys got derezzed. Uh, that's not, not what I've been hearing. There's been rumors that D. Ron, that D. Williams. That's not what I've been hearing. He's, there's been rumors he might be going to the Lakers. That will suck. Oh, back call for pass. Come on, that was not a bad pass. Back call for pass. Uh, the kicks in the nuts guy wants the ball, thank you. And no assist. Uh, but he gets a good shot movement as a consolation prize. And that's the end of the first quarter. As the Nets are crushing the Wizards 22 to 12. But could we see... Could we... It's Friday. Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers take on Steve Nash and the Phoenix Suns. The NBA season blasts off. Nice. But things right now are looking up for... There's the unnamed gnome. What's up? Screw it. I'm naming him Joe. As he sits out the second half, and it's now time for HB at the half as the Nets are crushing the Wizards, 41 to 26. Hello and welcome to the HB halftime report. It's time to break down some Wednesday night hoops. Some games going on. Deron Williams leads for the Nets. Well, screw it. At Amway Center, the Magic with the win over the No surprise there. Ran away with it. And another game that wrapped up. Woo, good Center, job, Philly. To the 76ers. They couldn't get anything going, it seems. And here's a look at the other NBA action around the league. In New York, the Knicks are trailing to Miami. Third quarter out there. Why do you expect Miami's unstoppable in this game? Hey, hey there's Joe. Joe the Gnome. And welcome back. As the kicks of the nuts guy is standing in the red. <laughs> Literally. Oh, dynamic goal. Let's see what it has here. Play a start. Do not commit a turnover. All right, I'll try my best. Here's Blotch. As he gives it the block. Right he kicks it to Wall. Now, how? Here's the quick. There's, there it is, and he gets to kick in the nuts, gets the bucket. Now he gets to go for the three throw. This is not what they wanted to let happen. They're just getting pounded inside. Yeah, they are, Steve. I mean, they're just um, not making life difficult at all for scores in the paint. I mean, that's an area that you've got to protect. But it doesn't hurt missing the end one. But if you miss the three, th two, three throws, you're screwed. But who is he guarding? Wait, who is? There's former, the former Laker. There's the kick in the nuts. Who's he guarding? Oh, another former Laker, Sasha Vujicic. But who knows? We might see Max playing in New Jersey. Not too bad. They were 20 and 21 at the Verizon Center. Here's Farmar. Six points for him. Five to shoot. There's a good shot defense right there. So that is good. So he's getting his teammate right back up. And he gets another foul on him, so that means more free throws for. Get the nuts! One, two, three, four. I thought Nick Young came on pretty strong in a more prominent role after the trade.
trade of Gilbert Arenas. So point. they clearly have some good young players, and um, I think Flip Saunders will get them, get them moving in the right direction. And he can't hit the second. Wow, he looks little. Been kind of the nets over the last couple of seasons. Last year, just five wins on the road. The season before, only four. And I think this season, with their added firepower, they should be able to improve on those totals. And plus, they got kicked in the nuts. James, and again, no good by New Jersey. Wizards trail by 11. That's funny. Here's Wall. Shot is blocked. And now he's going to stop the former Laker. Vujicic dishes to Yuzo. Wright, a good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Wright's got his first two points of the night. Steve, you mentioned the Nets' extra firepower. A full season with Darren Williams, Clark at the helm should help them get more road wins. There's another turnover, so the dynamic goal has failed. Bundy allowed to score an off turnover, so that's making Avery Johnson pretty happy. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. Yeah, defensively, some really good pressure being applied, though, so you've got to give credit there. It seems like they've been rattled a little bit. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're rattled, all right, and turnovers will kill you, especially with a team like this that can force turnovers and get out in transition. I really don't like what I'm seeing their last couple of possessions, Kevin. That's two turnovers in a row, careless turnovers at that. Uh, they're getting a little casual with the ball. They've got to nip that in the bud right now. Right with a screen on out. So right now, the Wizards, right now, they are... And John Wall gets the steal as he gives it to Howard. Bad shot for a pass. Back off for pass, and Here's the quick, guarded by Wright. but he gets a good shot selection, Next so he gets it 15. back. Fast break. Here they come. They're moving it around. Here's Vujicic. Back to right. As he goes to, as Vujicic kicked in the, the nuts, gets the farmer has. He allowed him to score, even though he is, his hand was right there. Okay, now he has the decision. He's standing next to Joe as he gives it to John Wall. And he gets a pass to assist. So he gets so kicked in the nuts will end this game with the C average. Which he was there the whole game, and there goes Joe. As it's 56 to 40, now it's time for another advertisement. For November 4th. Ooh, the Battle of Texas! And unfortunately, the Nets beat the Wizards. 81 to 65. Kicked in the nuts. Has played seven minutes, four points, and made two. And so it's New Jersey. As you can see, he lost 300 skill points, but his teammate grade was good. But he had a poor performance. Now let's go on to the do, 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 the ever the ever popular in this series. They better have it in 2K13. The lovely, the stupendous. The, the spectacular, the spectacular. Okay, the punchline is the post game press conference. With your first ever NBA game behind you, what does the future hold for you in this league? Could you think of a more cliche or question to ask him? Jeez. Because don't forget, he has to kick people in the nuts in the streets in the streets of D.C. You know. What does my future hold? I'll give you a few possibilities. Uh, multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star games, multiple rings, and a whole bunch of all-time records when all is said and done. I expect to be in the Hall of Fame one day. In fact, I'm already thinking about what my election speech will sound like. One day, baby. You'll all see it. I got a long career ahead of me first, though, so just be patient. Yeah, and look at this. Everything, all of them went up. 
So that is good for the kicked in the nuts first game as he is now getting ready to go and this is not the end of the game though no, no kicked in the nuts has still has a long way to go and <laughs> I love this it says Mr. The Nuts I love <laughs> I love that they should have said Mr. Kicked in the Nuts that would have been funny oh my god how to miss that <laughs> you should say you can use that how come they didn't back me get that through the sensor but there's that letter, and now let's take a look at the rival games for this team. It is Chicago and Cleveland. Now let's head on out and let's play the Chicago Bulls. And the Wizards are 0-4, while the Bulls are 4-2. So, this isn't good. Oh, hold on one second, folks. I have to get the skill points. I'll be right back. Got to put the skill points here. Okay, we're back. It's now time to equip the seven seven two seven two seven skill seven hundred twenty seven skill points I have here. And now we're gonna equip them as we're gonna add it to another skill point and oh one ninety four. Gee, I wonder which one it is. Offensive punch there and offensive punch there. So we'll end the day. And you know what? Just before the game against Chicago, let's see all the trades. Let's see who's interested. The Memphis Grizzlies want kick in the nuts, and so does the Houston Rockets. No, we're not demanding a trade because so far he likes in Washington. Because right now, he understands about having a rough start going 0-4. I'm out. Look at him in that stylish outfit. Which, when I found out the Wizards were going red, white, and blue, I was like, yay! Won't be long now until they rename the Bullets. Which, I still to this day, I do not understand why they changed the name. I guess the previous owner was a drunk. I guess they were wanted, didn't want to get gang-related matters in here. As John Wall comes off the bus, and here are the Wizard Girls, and there you see John doing the Dougie. Wait, that wasn't the Dougie. Whoops, my bad. And there you see another shot here as there you see the Chicago Bulls. Which right now the the Wizards do not have a chance because these guys are way talented. And they were still in that one right up to the end, guys, but lost by a couple of buckets. And that was a heartbreak because they actually played a very good game, just came up a fraction short. You know what? In my estimate. Let's go, Wizards! We'll go to Doris Burke, who moments ago has kicked in the nuts, Edwards makes his first game against the Bulls. As they got ready to face the Bulls for the first time this season, he talked about last year when Chicago had one of the toughest defenses in the entire NBA. He didn't anticipate that anything had changed over the offseason and said defensively they have to max the Bulls up. Yes, count them down, audience. Screw you, dude. Ye? When did he join? When did ye join? Explain that to me. 
Percy the Nuts. Hey, they even got the caps on there. One of the only with T Wolves coaches that actually was good. And he allowed the score off turnover, which is unfortunate, but hey, the kicked in the nuts guy is doing his best. Not much the defense could do there, guys, but let him go. As he scores his first bucket of the game. Yep. No personal foul. So that means the Bulls are going to the free throw line. So that means every time he miss, I have to yell D Rest. As he is going slowly. Wait, he thought he had it. Well, he gets a good shot defense, but unfortunately, the guy scored. Oh, that means back to the free throw line for hit kicked in the nuts. Last year had a very difficult season and they really struggled on the road. At home, not too bad. They were 20 and 21 at the Verizon Center. And he made it. Back to the Wizards for just a moment. That was an epic sound effect. 20 and 21, especially when you consider how young the Wizards are. Yeah, no, that's a pretty good start. I mean, John Wall is going to be the face and future of that franchise. I think Andre Black is a very talented big guy who's young and could develop into a really unfortunately he missed so he has three the points so far Boozer's got his second basket of the game. Wow, hot start offensively. Racing out to that quick lead. I mean, they're scoring and shooting with a lot of confidence. Great yeah, unfortunately, he oh. missed right there. Great defense in the paint there, making it tough on the offense. That's what he brings, a presence. I mean, you saw it on that miss. Well, I love the way they've been attacking Whoops. inside. Kevin. accidentally hit the A button. Our right, guys are getting a lot of points in the painted area, not settling for outside shots, and I don't see any reason to change strategy here. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. A look at Chicago. Here in the early part of the season, they've acquired the third best record in the conference. And, of course, the Wizards, they're way down there. Well, I think for Washington, you know, they've got to take a step back and just try to pinpoint where things went south for them this season. They're in a tough spot. But it's so hard to, to figure that out in the midst of the season, Clark. you got games coming night after night. Uh, there's just no time to, to figure it Can't out. Can't believe he missed that. Try to right the ship and get things moving. Right this time. And second, this is also. Awesome. Here's Blatch, and finally they hit one. Blatch has got six. And here's Rose. Over Wall, and the Bulls tack on two more. He has such a calm demeanor, but he locks in, takes his time, and finishes. And that's the end of the first quarter with the score. The Bulls are crushing the Wizards 21 25 to 13. Now it's time for the advertisement. 
The NBA season gathers momentum. Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks go on the road to battle the Memphis Grizzlies. Live this Wednesday night. 4-2 Mavericks versus the 1-5 Memphis Grizzlies. But I can't be laughing because we're the worst team. As the Wizards are being demolished by the Bulls, 54-23. So kicked in the nuts is probably saying, I could want to take it out of here, but I want to play on the road on this series. So I might, I might hold on. So enjoy the halftime. Sunday hoops seems like a perfect way to start the week. Derrick Rose leads for the Bulls, but Rashad Lewis leads oh, for the Wizards. Spotlight. And now let's go around the league to catch up on other NBA action. Philadelphia with a loss to the Clippers. Two and Staples four. Center. Wow. They didn't get anything going, it seemed. Andre Iguodala had the team high. And another game that also finished. Whoa, up where did the Wizards, where did the T-Wolves come the from? The so far, after dropping four straight, that one's not coming too soon. Their leading scorer, Darren Williams. Darren look Williams. Here at the other action, yeah, let's go, Lakers. Beat those Atlanta's post games. to the Magic at Amway Center. Can't quite figure it out how they ended up giving that one away. Josh Smith was their scoring leader. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now let's head to the Rock to the Verizon Center. right now. Rose and Dang on the floor. Carlos Boozer and Joaquin Noah, they're inside. And it's Bogans in at the two. I'll tell you what, JaVale McGee continued to do what he did last year and expanded his output some. I mean, yeah, I don't know why he went in a complete circle. Plenty of dunks. And that one's well, that worked. Five points in the game. So well he's up done. to five points. As he completes a milestone, two or five points in a single Rose game. And a foul on the shot. We'll go to the strike for two. It's well, at least I get to sit Wall. back at the last. Oh, wait, there's no Pelo. Shoot. Like he said. And the rest of his numbers across the board. Uh, Steve, he's a freak athletic. And this guy, I, mean, I don't know if he's got a ceiling. Well, he's got such great length uh, to his body. Huge wingspan and then great leaping ability. And you look at the numbers, 10 points, 8 boards per game. Almost 3 blocks as well. And he's got unlimited potential. Making a switch here, the Bulls. Kurt Thomas, he's checked in for no. Devers! Carlos Boozer. Rasul Butler's checked in for Lou Aldang. And Ronnie Brewer's subbed in for Keith Bogan. Here's the quick. It's and he missed Thomas. again. Thomas got four rebounds in this game. A lot of wins were piled up in last season's campaign by the Bulls, and a big part of that was their work on the backboard. I mean, they were a glass-eating team, far and away the best rebounding differential in the league. From 11 feet away. And he gets a bad shot selection, so his teammate Greg went down a bit. game on their schedule, losing to Sacramento. I was very disappointed in their ball movement, uh, their, their shot selection, their spacing. It seemed like they had no rhythm at the offensive end. None at all, Steve, and in part because they did a poor job of spacing the floor. And dunk it, Wall. Good job, Johnny. As you can see, kicked to the nuts is running side by side. Oh, what a dunk! Here's Rose. He's got 18. The back of the Bulls in Chicago for just a second. They really asserted their will on the boards. You're right, and uh, Steve, I know that was a huge portion of their winning season. Yeah, they've led the NBA with a plus six per game rebound margin. And nobody else in the league even came close to that mark, and that's why they were such a good team. Shot clock at three, and again, no good by Chicago. Tough miss. As John Wall has the ball, really as he will look at the hoop. passes it to Evans. Evans kicks to McGee. Evan passes it to McGee. Goes up. 
He's going to shoot it, which he's blocked. Smooth sailing for Chicago. This their first look at this year's Washington squad. Well, the talent disparity when these two teams met a year ago was, was really apparent. McGee passes it to kick in the to kick in the next guy as it's going to be as he shoots and he misses. I can't believe that missed. Well, with good defense down low, that, that's a shot he's not going to convert very often. Here's Rose. As he gets the leap assignment. McGee's got six rebounds in the game. I don't want to gloss over the point you just made, Steve. This series was sort of a microcosm of of the season for both teams. Yeah, it really showcased the gulf of talent between them. A big gap there. And now the Wizards draft it to kick to the nuts guy just to see how much potential he has. But so far, he's showing that he could fix this team. But so far, the fans, the Wecker does not draft like that. He's helped his team just about every way possible today. Yeah, he's been without a weakness today, Steve. I mean, he's been excellent in every area. As he passes it to John. Wall. As he gets a good ball movement with just 18 seconds. And why is the crowd booing at me? And here is Brewer. He's got six. And before I start the Barney Gump Gumble series, I have to charge the camera up because things are going to get a little bit ugly. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may already have been decided. Yeah, it's over. At the end of three, the Bulls lead 67 31. Now it's time for an advertisement. Yay. For November 17th. This Thursday night. Rajon Rondo and the Boston Celtics go up against Dwight Howard in the Orlando Magic. The NBA season blasts off. Big time hoops coming your Six way. and one. Where did the Magic come from? Jeez, and they're in our division. Wait, next. So is Miami. As the Wizards at lose to the Bulls, 86-45. So Kissing the Nuts had, had a better game than his debut. And he lost only 56 skill points, shockingly. So I think that should just about do it for this ep episode 3. Come back on Tuesday for episode 4 of the Kicked in the Nuts series. So we can get ready and then on Friday, June 15th, will be the kickoff of my Disney summer schedule. Which will Oh, time for the press conference. Let's see what the question they are asking me today this time is. Not a good game from your team tonight. Is there anything positive you can take from a game with a final score as lopsided as this one? Gee, that sounds ori very original. Let's see what kick the, the kicked into the nuts guy has to say. Well, there was my performance, but besides that, pretty much nothing. It's one of those games you just gotta throw in a trash heap and forget about it. I hate losing any game, but to lose by a lot, it's even worse. I'm gonna let these guys hear about it too, believe me. Coach don't even need to show up to practice tomorrow. I'll run the show, and I'll make sure every single one of the guys on this team knows what went wrong and where they need to improve, myself included. Except for the improving part, because I'm peak form already. <laughs> Alright, so his teammate and local fan support went down. Kind of went down, so now I think that should just about do it, but before we go, let's do the tradition. Seeing which teams are interested being kicked in the nuts as he gets 62 skill points for the press conference, which is odd. Flat out odd. Let's take a look here as the teams are Memphis and Houston still. So come back next time for more kicked in the nuts, my players. See you guys then. Later, folks.